Hello there again, minions. Long time. No wheezy. I am going to go ahead and call this a Wheezy's Weekly Wrap-Up, even though we have a couple of weeks under our belt. And figure since things have been kind of hectic lately, I would take this episode to talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on with Wheezy, <laughs> and maybe some things you've missed if you're new, or even if you've been around here a while, because I haven't shared a ton. So, let's go see what we missed and talk about some more stuff. All right, minions, we got a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. The last weekly wrap-up, the first thing that happened since then, uh, was a video that I posted, which was me and Seb playing some Modern Warfare Against Bots, but it was right after, um, not the Season 4 update in Cold War and Warzone, but there was a like a mid-season patch uh, when they added the AMP-63 to Cold War that also touched Modern Warfare, and it made something interesting happen when Seb and I were playing against bots. So, it's a good video to check out, and here's a clip from that one. I don't have a gun! Why don't- I don't- I don't have a gun! You don't have a gun either! There's no guns! What is going on? What the Christ is happening? <laughs> All, I don't know what's going on, but the guns are gone. <laughs> yeah, that was a strange one, so go check that video out if you want to see some interesting bot gameplay. Um, after that, I posted a video on the fastest way to unlock the AMP-63, which is basically kind of obsolete now. I don't know if the, the gun itself is obsolete, but there's Season 4 now, and there's new weapons, and people have moved on. So, if you still haven't unlocked the AMP-63, this one's for you to do it quickly so you can catch back up. Otherwise, I'm sorry I took so long. <laughs> Here's a clip from that. Unlike previous videos where I recommended Outbreak just because it's my preferred zombies method and more fun, that would not be very good for getting precision kills with a pistol because you have to track the zombies down. In the wave-based modes, they all come running to you, and that's a much better way to do it. So that's what I'm gonna re recommend to you, is to jump into a solo match of D-Machina. Okay, the next video I posted, somewhat ironically, was a video where I was playing, I think, Battlefield 4 on PC, um, which is worth watching on its own, I think. Um, but I was also talking about how, at the time, they had just released the teaser for the Battlefield 2042 reveal trailer, which was not the gameplay trailer, <laughs> which is now also in the past. Um, but I made a video with some Battlefield 4 on PC gameplay, uh, talking a little bit about what I want for Battlefield 2042. We've got some more information now, but the video's still worth taking a look. So here's a clip from that one. So yeah, Battlefield wish list. I mean, Honestly, for as much as I wasn't really into the World War II setting for Battlefield V, the controls felt modern, graphics looked pretty good, so building on kind of the progress they've made with just like the engine and what they've been doing with Battlefield, just evolving on that, but back to a modern setting with weapons and stuff that I actually give a shit about. I mean, I just, I can't even describe how excited I'm going to be. And it's, you know, like I said, it better be cross-platform. I know Sony's still being kind of a dick with some of its cross-platform stuff. So hopefully that doesn't become an issue for Battlefield. I mean, I feel like they'd really be missing the boat on that. But my platform of choice would be the PlayStation 5. So that's the plan. So go check that one out. I'm going to be doing more videos very soon on 2042, what's been revealed, and oh my god, I can't wait for it to come out. Uh, the next thing that I did was a short. This one actually, once again, did what shorts do, and after a couple of days, it kind of got 2,000 views. So if you're here from the short, welcome. And if you missed the short, here it is. I have to reload. Be overhead. In the middle. Debt is paid! Reloading! Reloading! You take 
Precision airstrike. Grow up, child. I'm not even gonna say GG. Go fuck yourself, you queer ass. Go back to recess. Bitch. I don't care Ooh, what the hello. fuck you say. Go fuck yourself. It's not that serious, please. You suck, bitch. Kids, am I right? <laughs> Um, yeah, th things like that keep coming up. I'm gonna keep making shorts, why not? Uh, after that, I did a live stream of the Battlefield 2042 full, well not full reveal, the, the game reveal. Um, not the gameplay one, but when they did the trailer with the Ron Dezook and all that greatness. It's now now happily in our, in our hearts. Um, so, I streamed that live with my reactions, pulled up some other stuff, so might be worth checking out if you missed it. Here's a clip from that. I can't believe it put the wrong music in the trailer. That's we're pulling. Out. launch okay tell me first let's look at specialists let's look at specialists all the specialists webster mckay he's got a grappling hook oh man that is some battlefield 2 expansion level stuff uh, an ex-military lone wolf survivalist bush wookies <laughs> yeah so we we know quite a bit about battlefield 2042 now 2042, 20, 2042, now, don't we? Uh, the next video, I super duper recommend you go watch. I'm telling you, it's not getting, it's not getting much love because it's not a shooter. But me and my kids, we played Gang Beasts, which is a game that uh, my daughter Evie told me about, where it's basically like a ragdoll, like where you throw people off a, try to throw people off the map. It's it's hilariously fun. The game is, I think it said from like 2014. I completely missed it, but we've been playing the crap out of it. It's so much fun. I put together a video um, of us playing a best of five, I think it was, and the ending is unbelievable. It's worth it just to watch through to the, to the ending. You, I'm telling you, you got to check it out. And here's a clip. Yes, take him. Take him, hentai. Tentacle hentai for the win. Take him away. <laughs> Take you No. 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 Hold on. No. What? No. No way. Horse shit. Shit on a horse. Okay, so that's what's been on the channel <laughs> since the last time you guys saw me. Um, I already recorded this video um, before I left town. I've been out of town for a week, um, which is why content has been, I was about to say scarce, but non-existent is the word. Um, I got this recorded just before I left town and I got it even uploaded to the channel. But a couple of days passed and I didn't get an opportunity to create a thumbnail for it and actually get it launched to, the, to that. So it's, that one's not going to see the light of day. But re-recording this a full week on later, um, things have happened since then. I, so I went, to, I went out of town. Uh, I went to San Antonio for the better part of a week. 
Uh, my kids were in Oklahoma with my mom uh, visiting for a while. So while they were gone, I went to San Antonio with my partner Brandy and uh, we just kind of hung around, had some fun, then drove up to Oklahoma, pick up the kids before we came back. And um, that was a lot of fun. We left on Sunday morning when they were doing the multiplayer gameplay reveal for Battlefield. So I had to watch it on my phone <laughs> in the car when I was like stopping for gas. And uh, obviously I wasn't able to do a live stream for that one. I haven't been able to create a video for it yet, but I will. Um, not necessarily specifically for that gameplay reveal, but now that we've had E3, there's more information out than even that. So I'm catching up still on some of this stuff. I missed all of E3 as well. Uh, I watched a little bit of some like the summary videos of things that were announced, but I still haven't even gone through and seen everything that was announced in there. So I still have to do that and I'll be creating stuff around that, I'm sure. I'm always excited for new games, new stuff like that. I need to I haven't played video games in like over a week. Like, I haven't shot anyone in the face in a while. I'm itching. So I gotta do some of that too and uh, get the content train rolling again. So sorry for the long absence. Um, another thing happened that has caused a hiccup in the content train. And that is, some of you may have noticed if you've been around a while <laughs> or even if you haven't been around all that long, that sometimes the scenery changes. <laughs> this is my office now. Um, in the house that I'm in, but over the past couple of years, uh, I, I, when I started this channel, I owned uh, a house uh, in Colorado Springs, where I live in Colorado, and um, I'm not in Colorado Springs anymore, but, so I owned a house there for like nine years, and uh, that's where I started the channel, and so you guys saw quite a bit of that back when I was significantly heavier, when I was like 100 pounds bigger than I am now. Um, that's where Wheezy's Gaming started, and then... Uh, a couple of years ago, ended up uh, moving out into a, selling that house, moving into a rental. Um, and that rental is actually where I relaunched Wheezy's Gaming, my, after being gone for like six years. <laughs> and that was that rental house. Um, we were there, I was there for a year, moved into another rental house. Um, and you guys may have noticed that change of scenery. I was there for a year. After I, that first rental house, I was there for a year. The owner decided to sell the house. Another rental house, was there for a year. I actually decided to leave and move into this house, but then after I decided to leave, the owner sold that house. <laughs> um, this house, we actually renewed the lease for a second year, and then less than a month after we renewed the lease, they exercised a clause in the lease that said, well, we decided we want to sell it instead, and so they gave us 60 days notice. <laughs> so I have to move again. So the scenery will change again in just a couple of weeks actually we have to be uh, moved uh, in the beginning of July I'm also going to be going for a week uh, out of town so yeah busy times I'm gonna see if I can get some content together so hopefully I'm not just absent again when I'm gone for a week uh, over 4th of July but there's a lot going on things are gonna be changing um, but hopefully I've got a I've got a two-year lease signed at this new house so things will be able to settle a bit more I'm getting on a I'm getting on a roll with content production, um, so more for me. Good, still good growth on the channel. I'm loving seeing all you new minions here. So, hi minions, welcome if you guys are new here, and for the old minions, you guys know. Um, I will take this really brief second for those of you who do watch this to plug the Discord. If you're not in, already in the Discord, check the link below. It is an open invitation that never expires to join the Discord channel. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to get more access to me, especially as the channel continues growing. Um, I'm hoping to grow that Discord just so it's easier to get feedback from you guys, other than, you know, obviously commenting on these videos and, you know. Uh, also, meeting people to play Battlefield 2042 with and, you know, just, I like having people to play with. Wheezy's Gaming started on playing games with friends, um, but over the years, things have changed. The new console generation that came out from PS3 to PS4, back when this channel started on Xbox 360, essentially. Um, when the PS4 and Xbox One launched, I went to PS4 and I didn't get an Xbox One until real late in the console life cycle. Um, some of my friends stuck with Xbox, some of them didn't upgrade at all, and it just all the people I used to play with kind of scattered to the wind. And now I play alone. Every once in a while, one of you, some of my beautiful minions, come and play with me. Um, so I love seeing you guys around, and you guys are, you know, you, they're in my Discord. I'm just saying. They, you know, they're like, hey, they want to play. They in my Discord. So like, Ancap, Armadies, like, 
Just saying. Check out the Discord or pop in the channel. Um, there's going to be more opportunities to hopefully get a crew together to play more games with as I get more time to game to, um, to go along with a little bit about Wheezy. Um, one thing that has changed is I spent, you know, 14 years, 12 years, I think I was 12 years. I spent 12 years working uh, as a software engineer at Lockheed Martin, which I tried to keep off the channel for security reasons, but I no longer work for them. <laughs> so not really a security risk anymore. Uh, and now I work as a senior software consultant for Red Hat, uh, which did mean before everything started getting shut down that I was traveling uh, a lot to client sites to help them get opsify their software workflows which if that means nothing to you it's okay it's just nerd crap um but i do still have a day job until of course this youtube channel absolutely blows up and makes me millions of dollars and then i don't have to do a day job anymore um, but but that's what i uh that's what i balance in my in my time i've got i've got two kids i've got uh my day job i've got projects i'm working on i got my channel you beautiful minions that i want to do want to do that i want to create content for and uh, just games. I just love playing games. It's uh, something I inherited from my dad as a child. My uh, one of my earliest and best memories is of the Christmas when we got our uh, our first NES. Um, that's about the timeline as far as how old I was. But I did go backwards from there because my dad was big into video games. So ColecoVision, Atari 2600, a Vectrex I still have. Um, all of you know, and then moving up into the new stuff. I actually missed the. Any, the Super NES and Genesis generation, which is to say I played it at friends' houses, but we never had those consoles. Uh, and then, like, kind of my first, my console, not counting my Game Gear, which I bought halvesies with my dad um, with some money that I earned, was kind of the PS1. So I have been somewhat unashamed about the fact that I have been a PlayStation fanboy since essentially the original PlayStation launched, back when the rivalry was PlayStation and Nintendo. And now Nintendo's not really part of a rivalry. Now it's Xbox and PlayStation while Nintendo's over here being Nintendo, <laughs> which is great. My son uh, has plays his Switch all the time. I mean, it's, it's a great thing. Nintendo has decided that competing in the console space at the top end didn't make sense. And so they just are doing their Nintendo thing. They're like, we don't need top end hardware to make Mario games. And they're doing great, so good for them. But now I have, you know, now that I've got my own money, <laughs> full-time job, I, you know, I, I'm not so much of a fanboy that I won't buy an Xbox and tell you that I love Gears of War and Halo and Forza, like, just is what it is, so. That's about as much history about Wheezy as I'm going to give you right now since I'm rambling again and the weekly wrap-ups aren't supposed to be very long, so. Leave comments down below for your thoughts on anything. I don't know. Tell me what you thought about E3. I still got to catch up on that. Is there anything I just have to check out? Halo multiplayer free to play? What? I got to go learn. I got to go. I got to go figure some stuff out. So I love you minions. I'll talk to you soon.